on the cross, Jesus said it is finished. Note that when he walked on the sea, he didn't say it is finished. When he raised the dead, he didn't say it is finished. When God used a man today to raise just one dead person, that may be what he's going to be preaching for the rest of his life. Everywhere he's going, he will tell the people's story, how I raised the dead, how I raised the dead. But for Jesus, raising the dead was a common occurrence in his life, but he didn't say it is finished. A man that can walk on water and feed 5,000, Jesus didn't say it is finished. He didn't say, what is it? I've done everything. He opens the eyes of the blind. Just the same way we take Panadol to heal Edic. He didn't say it is finished. But how come on the cross Jesus said it is finished? The devil does not want you to know all the things that were finished on the cross. You see, on the cross, your sin was finished. Every sin was finished. The blood of Jesus was made available to wash every sin away. On the cross, you, the sinner, you were also finished. Jesus included you in his death and finished you on that cross. So the life that you have is a new life, is an exchange life. You have received the life of Jesus because your own life was terminated on the cross. If Jesus didn't give you his life, you will have dropped dead. But you have a new life in Christ Jesus. So that which produces sin in you, the flesh, the old man, the sinful nature was nailed to the cross. On the cross, the world was crucified to you so that you will no longer be worldly, so that you will no longer love the world, so that the grip of worldliness on the souls of men will not have a hold upon your soul. So on the cross, Jesus terminated worldliness. He terminated the grip of, of the world on the souls of men. You see, on the cross, you were also set free from the power of darkness. The Bible said that in Colossians 1.13 that he has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. You were set free on the cross of Calvary from the power of darkness. Believers are not a people that are still looking for deliverance from Satan. Any church that is set up to do that is not the church of Jesus Christ. They are in error. They are practicing lies and deception. As believers, we have been made free on the cross of Calvary. What we need to show to people is what Jesus accomplished for us on the cross of Calvary. So on the cross of Calvary, we were set free from the kingdom of darkness. Also on the cross, the devil, principalities and power, rulers of the kingdom of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places, they were defeated. And Jesus made the public show of them. That means that everybody know in the spirit realm that they were defeated. And you also, in this realm, you ought to know that he had defeated principalities and power and make a public show of them. That is why the devil does not want anybody to hear the message of the cross. There was only one regret of the devil that we hear in the Bible. The scripture says, if they had known, they would not have crucified the king of glory. It means there was nothing that put an end to anything the devil is doing other than the cross. The cross is not that pedal you are wearing. It's not that chain that you carry. It's not that tree that you carry everywhere and you are saying that you are carrying the cross. The cross is the cross of Jesus. What he accomplished on the cross of Jesus. The devil doesn't want you to know that because that is where your victory is. That is why Paul said we preach Christ and him crucified. We preach the cross of Jesus. That is the power over sickness. On the cross, Jesus terminated sickness. The Bible says our iniquity was laid upon him. He bore our sin. He said by his stripe we were healed. So on the cross, God paid for our health. He paid for our healing. On the cross, brethren, it was finished. Truly finished. We are no more dead in sin. We are dead to sin. Hallelujah. That is what Jesus accomplished for us on the cross of Calvary. My prayer is that God will give you greater understanding and revelation of what our Lord Jesus Christ accomplished for us on the cross of Calvary. Brethren, indeed, it is finished. My name is Olusha Gumokuolu. God bless you.